Welcome a time bloodthirsty lord by Yinko and Lordy and today we're back on Escape from Tarkov and we have a video for today highlighting how to make millions of ripples or currents in the game by a certain loot path in less than 7 minutes. Sometimes around 7-10 minutes, depends what happens in your encounters in your online raids. Either way, this is a very effective way to gain currency in the game and be able to use it for your future builds or higher upgrades etc. It is really, really fun. Before we do get into this video, there is only a small percentage of mates that watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the actual loadout that we're going to use today, nothing special, pretty much a low design loadout. We have the Firestone Pistol with a flashlight, so you can run this build at night or day, your choice. Backpack, some nades, so we need to put a pressure on the enemy player that we're going to encounter if we encounter them. Armor, uh, helmet, you don't really need a helmet if you're not going to go into any PvP encounters, but if you are, it's always good just to have that extra benefit of safety. Then you have your headset as well to be able to hear your surroundings, and pretty much that is it. There's nothing else you need from this point going forth. You can obviously empty your uh, alpha container crate if you wanted to, but I'm keeping my key tool, so if you any special keys, I can chuck them here. If you have any special injectors or uh, stims that I can pick up, I can put them in here too etc. you got those things that you can do on the go and be able to get upgrades that you need in the future for your high now or for yourself to use certain guns and weapon builds in the future as well. This is an easy way to fuel the economy and just keep on playing in the game. And the map you have to choose is Lighthouse. Lighthouse just seems to be very effective overall. You can choose any time that you want but preferably day. Day seems to work out pretty well so you're able to see stuff and now your surroundings pretty well especially if you are a new player. So we jump into a daytime match on Lighthouse and showcase the loot mechanics in action. Let's get into it. So we're jumping into Lighthouse and we're hoping for a decent spawn. There's a couple of spawns that work really well for this loot run. So let's hope we get a good spawn. Fingers crossed. Let's get into it. I do have injectors to help us out. This is a decent spawn. So why don't we try and do this activate SJ6. We'll make this work. So if you spawn here, you got a couple of options. We're going to try and run through this as quickly as possible. And try and get to the other side. There, there won't be any encounters of enemy spawns. Enemy players. They're usually on the right side, not here. So we can run straight through this, and since it's early game, there should be no scav encounters too. There's some loot on these areas here that you can collect as well, if you need to. They're not that crazy, but there's some possibilities there. That's around 45k already, for both pieces that we just got. It's not too bad. So let's keep running through, and try and get to the actual uh, area down there, where one of the big buildings at. Anywhere that's a big building, it's usually promising in loot, and it does help out. The SJ6 that I just used there, helps with my mobility. So it's around 40,000 to 50,000. It's pretty good if you're already good on economy and then you can make a whole bunch of money through this raid. Why the hell not? It works to your benefit. That's for sure. So rushing straight through here. There's still a possibility that we encounter someone. Let's hope not. Usually tech spawns do spawn in that crate, but we only got a G phone. As you see, it's right down there in that box. So let's go through here. There's some stuff you can get here as well, like food supplies. Sometimes things do spawn in there. Low chance. Instead of going there, let's go over here. There's trophies usually that spawn here, like the horses and such, but nothing spawned. Or the cat. Uh, dry fuel, take that for sure. And some other stuff usually spawn there. It's not always guaranteed. Sometimes better spawns or better raids, you get better spawns. It just happens. Right over here, there's another special spawn, usually there. Nothing really spawned here, unfortunate. There's jackets too. This usually spawn there as well, but nothing spawned here. I don't know if they changed actually the spawns of the game already for the recent patch, because there was a patch, and I feel like they've changed some of the spawns. Or the benefit of loot that you do gain. That's worthless. Usually we'll try to find keys in these jackets. Any keys that are pri uh, with price, obviously that helps out quite a bit. Like a 301 key sands or RBST key for reserve, which is like 2.5 mil. Intelligence can spawn here. Uh, meds over here usually. Okay, perfect. Got it. You check the medicine bag as well. Why the hell not? Okay, decent. Nothing crazy. It's like not the best run to showcase this. Okay, we can make this work. We're gonna make this work. So what you can do from here is actually double check the jacket here. There we go. Interesting key. RBS key. Or RBRS key, I've never seen before, so I don't know what the value on that key is, but that should be quite interesting. Hopefully it's over 100k. Special spawn here too, for industrial items, but nothing happened. Or military um, cargo tubes, if lucky. Low percentage of chance occurring, but still occurs. 
Let's go right down here. So you can usually check the big red building as well. The one right over there. It's a brick building. It's the place that we spawn right now. We've most likely contested. So that one right over there. And that one there. You check those areas for decent loot. If not, and if they're most likely already contested, we're we'll trying to get to this side of here. Some players do actually contest this spot really early, so you have to watch out for that too. But we're pretty much on par for like 7 minute raid, so it's not too bad. We've got like 3 minutes-ish. Sometimes things do spawn here as well, so just double check it, and it does occur. From here, you'll be able to double check these areas as well. Nothing there. Chainlet. Players. There's a the whole team here. Is that an impact? It's not an impact. That's the third guy? Oh my god. One more, one more, one more. We got this. This is intense. I don't heal around the moment. I want to heal straight away. I still have my painkillers activated from earlier. He was down there originally. I didn't kill him. He's over here. All dead. Crazy stuff. All dead. I killed that many players. Did not expect that. So, that's a possibility too. Now we can loot all these players. And they're high level players. So, so good dog tags to collect as well. So let's put some ants here. Jeez, mates. I did not expect that to happen in this recording. So I told you this place can be contested. And that's just what happened. So I'm going to put some ammo into my weapons so I can actually utilize it. Not bad. Let's reload this. I'm going to activate a Pervitol just in case. Which will give us health per second as well. So I don't have to completely heal my leg. I can just heal by a bit. That's enough. And then the rest will heal it. Okay, cool. So there's four plays killed by me. Insanity. Pure insanity. So we can now actually do start to manage our loot as well. This is a really good raid. I don't know if we end up showcasing this as the major raid. Or the major event of how to actually lose this area. But it does show. Perfect. Some decent loot. I'll take it. We're going to put everything else into here. Wait, he had a 5.7 as well? Oh, wow. Perfect. Another 5.7. I'll take it. So we'll put the suppressor over here. And put the pistol there. Love to see it. We can drop this. It doesn't cost too much. This doesn't cost too much as well. Put that there. So we're now start managing our loot for things that actually cost or are effective. Uh, I'm going to drop all these. I don't feel like I need them because I can actually purchase them. That works out pretty well. Other plays over here. Let's double check. M700 Sniper. Decent helmet. Yep, love it. It's got some nice rigs too. Oh my god, mates. This is so good. This is actually so good. I don't have space for two of these, so I can't really manage that. The mags, I might actually just take the mags. Actually, a better choice would be to actually put this into here. And... Then drop my armor. Into here. Go back over here. And collect the armor off that. Then hotkey the rest of these buttons I need to. Perfect. And that works out pretty darn well for me. Take this. And that as well. I hear footsteps everywhere. 
take this as well. Another pistol, fully modified, decent helmet, nothing crazy. I might just take the pistol instead and the actual attachments on it. So I'll put the attachments here and then drop that into there, put that into there. Nicely done. And the other player that we killed, which is right over here, I believe. Wait, how many people did I kill? Did I kill three or four? One, two, three. Did I kill a fourth? Just so much happened so quickly. I cannot find him for the life of me. So who cares about the fourth? It happened. One, two, three. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I did pretty well there. Very happy with that output. That's for sure. Now let's double check this place that I think they did not actually contest. So this is one of the other loot spawns you can check. So right over here. You got a badge. Perfect. We're going to pick that up. That's like 30k. So let's try and use the hot rod over here. It's not too bad. So it's around 7 minutes usually, unless you're getting an encounter, like we mentioned. Then it does go on for as long as the encounter goes for, and also the looting me mechanics for the encounter. Like, looting all the enemies that we killed. Which is not too bad. Not too shabby. And there's loot here as well. Industrial loot can spawn here. Try and see if there's anything else. Sometimes stuff on here as well. You get stuff there. Stuff here, so we got pineapple juice if you want that. You can get ammo as well, that's opportunity. Some stuff there, there, and also there for opportunities. In here, there's stuff you can find here vodka, sometimes bitcoins and such. Vodka's around 15k, so we could drop some stuff for it if we need to. But I'm not for this raid. Then you can go into that building there, there's sometimes some spawn on the floor, like WD 40 and such. Uh, some loot over there as well, in an actual crate. Over here, you got your jackets. So you can search this jacket and see if there's anything in it of importance. Nothing, sadly. I feel like it's already been pre-looted. There's some stuff here, usually. Some stuff there. You see ammo. Uh, special spawns over here. And also on this bench here. You got MRE right over there, which is not too bad for us to actually utilize if we can. But I don't think we can. I don't think we have enough space for that. Sadly. There we go. Click that. Perfect. And also some spawns here sometimes. And sometimes there. It's very low in that box, actually. Very low. It's actually spawn there. Then from here, what I like to do is try and keep moving. There's gunshots behind us from uh, treatment, but it's alright. Just skip that. Nice and quickly. So usually you don't get too many encounters. So that was a very one-off, unique encounter to get. Like, it does happen, but a whole team being there is very low. So try and jump over here and keep going. And pretty much it came out of this raid with a couple of interesting elements. And usually your actual extraction is pretty close to this area. So you can do the whole loop and go past the shoreline like it's nothing. Usually it does take around seven minutes. So around 31, 32, you'd be here. It said 26. So it took a bit longer because of that encounter, but that is all right. So it came out with a M700, two pistols, one of them being a 5.7, which I do adore. 5.7s are really fun to utilize. So we got some boost in our arsenal, that's for sure. And some decent loot. Nothing crazy. You can always find better loot. But it seems like right now in the current patch, it feels like the loot in the game has been reduced in some way. They usually make a lot of bang for your buck in these areas. So overall, this has been an action pack raid. So I have to keep this. We have to show it to the mates. Crazy stuff. Did we kill four players? I told you there's a fourth. I couldn't find him. I actually couldn't find the fourth. So yeah, we killed four players. Unbelievable. With the 5-7. Look at us dominating. Three clips only. We had three clips to dominate the whole team. Do you understand how crazy that is? And I killed them so quickly from each other that I didn't even know when I killed the first guy. I couldn't find the body. I literally couldn't find the body. Crazy stuff there. Crazy stuff. And the loot that we came out with, we have obviously this stuff here. So some decent loot there. Nothing too crazy. Then we have the badge, uh, deep fuel, uh, the G phone, some accessories that we got from the players that we killed. Perfect. Decent amount of loot. Nothing crazy. Sadly, it doesn't equivalent to too much, even if you sell all these pieces and all the suppressors and such. It won't be too crazy. But it's decent enough for future runs where you can go for this rogues after with the m700 but usually that is the way i like to go around the map it is usually better loot though that's for sure i don't know if it's been changed in some way because the other loot that we've gained from those boxes have been insane like i've sold some of my bitcoins i had a lot of them i had around 10 bitcoins i've kept two just in case of missions if i ever need them for daily missions and such but overall we had like 10 bitcoins in like two uh, two to three raids it was insane so some crazy amount of cash that you can make in those areas for sure and there's other opportunities for different parts of the lighthouse to make even more. Like the big house building that everyone does go to, that's notoriously known for making huge cash. So it's been fun either way. This is a very fun raid. 
We may call it a fun raid or crazy raid. I don't know what it was. It was insane and I had a hell of a lot of fun showcasing this on the channel. But mate, tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, it has been a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this. And I'll catch you mates next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it mates. Thank you.